Well, tonight the Federal Emergency Management Agency continues their recovery efforts in the Mid Valley. That's right. CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz talked to Westlaco residents who are hoping they will qualify for federal assistance, and she joins us live right now. Annalise. Marcy and Eddie, this disaster recovery center just opened today, and although those floods happened back in October, there are still lots of families desperately trying to rebuild their lives. When I talked to my wife, I explained to her our house is gone, literally gone. George Vela and his wife built what they call their dream home in Westlaco 20 years ago. A call from his daughter is how he learned it was gone in an instant. Dad, there's water coming in, and I didn't understand her. She says, it's coming through the walls. It was coming in through the window. Although FEMA can't replace everything. My wedding gown, my bridal corsage. They're hoping some assistance will help put their lives back together. I don't know how much they're going to help us with, but it's, you're talking about over $100,000 more to, re, to get it back where it was. This FEMA disaster recovery center opened in Westlaco Tuesday. People like the Bellas can come and register to find out if they're eligible for aid. There is crisis counseling available. There's disaster case management available, so it's more than just money. After coming in and sitting down with the FEMA representative, an inspector will come to your house. You can then have money in your hands within about two weeks if you're eligible. Uh, they came in and just tore it up. For the Vela family, who's been rooming with relatives since October, the process has been difficult. It's very slow. Uh, we don't know if we're going to get funded or we're going to what we're going to do. FEMA encourages all flood victims to come to the center so their questions can be answered and they can hopefully get the relief they need. The center re will reopen at 9 a.m. tomorrow. If you're going to make your way out, be sure you have your identification, proof of residency, a bank account number, and any kind of documentation of damage done to your home or business. The deadline to apply is January 25th. Live in Westlaco, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com.